<laughs> you, you went for some of the really good questions right off the bat. To us, that was really exciting and inspiring because the building is so beautiful and um, we kept the, the building design in our minds at all times because even down to the smallest detail, we knew that it was in this room, on this floor, in this building, on this corner of Cincinnati, and it permeated all the decisions that we made for design. Yeah, we talked a lot about how inspiring the vision of CAC was when they envisioned this project and that Saha Hadid translated. It was such a clear gesture toward positioning art at the center of civic discourse. And so we thought a lot about how do we bring that energy and that vision up to the sixth floor and really make that a, a kind of a landing point or a pinnacle to that inspiring vision. One of the things that we really liked about this project was the mission was creativity and curiosity for all. And in taking a deep dive into that, we really appreciated how the program and the organization here really fundamentally try to overcome any perceived barriers that, that exclude everyone from creativity. Like creativity is only for artists and it, that doesn't apply to me. So we really like that this is about inviting everyone in to explore their own creativity and bring that into their own life and empower them. Because it can be intimidating, like, oh, it's over there and only artists can make art. And I think the CAC's vision was how do you make, how do you break down those barriers and make people feel welcome to explore and create the spaces that are, make that visible, but also allow people to have some individual uh, some autonomy just to get comfortable with creativity. So that was a lot of what we were working on trying to translate into the design. It was, it was really helpful to us uh, early on in this project to hear from visitors to the museum and from the creative educational team who works here day in and day out. And some of the things we learned are also the things that make us really excited about this new space. So we learned that sometimes people would arrive and arrive on the sixth floor and feel like maybe I'm in the wrong place, maybe I'm not supposed to be here. And now the space, that arri those arrival points um, feel really inviting. They are more open. There's a large gallery to your right as you exit from the elevator. There are lines, geometries in the ceiling that really kind of pull you in to the studio space. And the studio itself, to have, it's, it's also part of the unique element of the educational programming at CAC that they want to elevate art making and, and not just learning about art by translating someone else's creative work, but learning about art by experiencing it. And so as you arrive, you'll see, you'll be sort of welcomed into this large art making space um, that has, that also then opens up to a public gathering space and forum with views of the city and to have those public views of the city in a gathering space that is in this kind of privileged position in the city is really exciting and feels like it's the kind of it's starting to shape up as the kind of space that you would want to spend time in. And so with the different scales and types of spaces and different types of activity, activities that it houses, we're really hoping that everyone who comes here finds a space that speaks to them. And we feel like there's a lot of, in a, in a small amount of space, we concentrated a lot of different uh, types of spaces to inhabit here. And it's in the pavilions, which are meant to encourage um, smaller scale, maybe quieter conversation or activity, as well as um, we added a quiet room and even down to the restrooms that are now more accessible and more open to a spectrum of gender identities. We, we enjoyed making a space that could help 
reach the goals of expanded inclusivity? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, we really enjoyed um, working with the CAC and the educational team, the whole, the whole staff that made the team that we worked with, and we really admire the vision that is for this space, and we ad admire what you've already done in the Arts Center and within the city of Cincinnati and the region, and so to be able to engage all of that with architecture was really exciting for us. I think the things that we love about working on it are also the challenges. Like the organization, CAC, is so nimble that it is constantly feeding off of contemporary discourse, culture, society, ecology, and, and therefore that's, that's what's so enjoyable about it, but also it requires trying to anticipate how do you design a space not only for what's happening now, but what might be happening in the future. Um, and that meant we needed to think about modes of interaction now, even types of art making that the CAC is looking to expand on, like art that taps into cycles outside of the building. So we thought a lot about future phases of the project that might enable some outdoor galleries you know, within the existing form of the building. For me, it's about finding a way to make spaces where people can connect and engage and also contribute to the vibrancy of the city, the street. Um, yeah. yeah, we love trying to have the opportunity to think about architecture as a translation of the way people relate to each other. And so this project was a dream because it was all about that relationship and uh, expanding on the civic function of the museum.